well day two um, start this video this is actually gonna be the end of the day but uh, we I was with JP this morning yeah I was gonna re-spool while he's throwing that funny looking bait oh that worm <laughs> I saw bass on that stump there's two of them sitting down there but they didn't didn't even look at yeah, it yeah, we, we ran we ran about five six miles down the lake did a little bass fishing just because the crappie bite sucked. Um, Try to find some new spots. I did manage to catch two. There's one. Not really the guy. There's like three or four down there. Not what we're hoping for though. That's start. Something. That's a better one. Uh, but other than that, it was really tough to find fish. So we're back at the bridge. It's kind of like a moral victory, I'm hoping. Um, I, I do want to catch a limit, and there are fish stacked up on this piling, so we're gonna see if we can catch them. This video brought to you by Crappie Monster. I'm gonna use these guys today. This seemed to be the color that they would actually hit. Um, Promo code, flopping crappie, all one word, all capital letters. That'll get you 20% off at crappiemonster.com. We're gonna go over to this piling and try to catch some fish. There he is. Stay pinned, buddy. Ooh, this is a crappie. It's a good one, but I think it's a catfish. The way he's rolling. Oh no, it's a good crappie. Yes! Good crappie. Come here, buddy. The Lake Fork studs. My goodness, look how thick that back is. Stud of a crappie. It's probably, I think he's probably 13. Let's put him on a bump board, huh? Yep, 13 and a quarter, right there. Almost 13, well, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. So we came back to the bridge. They're chasing shad right now, so. Anything to imitate that shad pattern. There's another one down there. I'm gonna weigh him, because He's probably a pound and a half, I'm gonna guess. I think that's probably the biggest one we're gonna get off these uh, these pillars here. Here's another one coming up. Got him. Yep. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know what that was. Cause he's a dink. Actually, he might be a keeper. Gotta be 10. He looked a lot bigger on the live scope down there. Where's my players? Choking that. Monster milk, shad patterns. I think he's 10. Might be able to go. I think he's 10. Oh yeah, 10 and a half. Man, these, these Texas fish, this is a 10 and a half, or a 10 and a half up north, I guarantee it weighs, I'm gonna guess like three to four pounds less than this one. These are solid, healthy fish. There he is. I don't think he's that big though. Another keeper for the live well? Ooh, I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna keep. No, dink. Oh, 
almost dropped it. Players in the drink. See you, buddy. There it is. Man, these are light. Well, it's a light tap because it's a tiny, tiny crappie. I've hit about six pillars so far, just for that. Yeah. It's not gonna fill the live well. There's one. About time. Yeah, they're decent sized keepers. Switch it up to a purple and white uppercut. Seemed like those longer, longer profile baits they just didn't want to hit. I think it's a, that's another decent keeper here. What do we got? Yeah, 11, 11 and a quarter. They were, uh, they seemed to be like short biting it. So I switched it up to a little shorter profile. Stuck it right in his face. All right, gonna put the live scope on, on this for you guys so you guys can see what the heck I'm actually looking at here. Where are my jigs? Where are my jigs? I think they're all gonna be about that 11 inch, which is fine with me. Bunch of nice eaters, frying pan fish. Gotta do a little more exploring on some of these timber sections. I don't know. I mean, we went about five, six miles down the lake into Canny Creek, Little Caney. Little Caney, I think it's pronounced. And uh, I think I saw one guy catch a crappie. There were a few crappie in there, but not like, the crappie are not like Lake of the Pines. You can just roll up to a single tree and there'll be one or two really nice ones sitting there. It's like, it's either barren or you'll see a school. Um, I have yet to see a big, like a really big mark on a tree. There he is. It's a super light tap. Cause they're all about 11 inch fish, I think. Except for this guy, this guy's a dink. Is that a white? I think it's a white. Yeah, it's gotta be a white, it's super light. Black, black crappie, that's gotta be a white. I haven't caught a white crappie in a while. I was so hoping for a calm day just so I could film the live scope setup for you. Had it for like an hour or so, but wasn't quite on the fish that I wanted. Now that I found fish that I definitely can easily film while live scoping, we got, of course got a super weird shop going on. There he is, got one there. I think that's a good one too. I think he's top, oh yeah, it is a good one. Top jig. That's a good fish. Come here, buddy. About time I got one of you guys to bite. Yep, there he is. Got him. He's not a big one. He's a little guy. That was not the mark that I saw. Dinkleton. All right. Well, unfortunately, wind picked up again. And uh, couldn't really fish that bridge, but 12 foot ACC crappie sticks now available online. Actually, I think we got our 13 footer in, in stock right now too. Uh, crappie monster jigs. Go ahead, check them out, crappiemonster.com. Again, that promo code for 20% off is Floppin' Crappie. All capital letters, all one word, gets you 20% off. They also have a net. If you guys are uh, spider, hardcore spider riggers or just need a crappie net, extendable, I think it goes from six feet to 12 foot. Um, 10 pound braid, 1000 size PC Fun Carbon X spinning reel. 
we're gonna figure it out eventually here, okay? Uh, this is day two on the water on Lake Fork. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna get into that two pound range. Um, JP said he was catching like pound and a halfers on some timber out there. Um, we're gonna try that tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get up early, super early, get out here like at first light and hopefully put a two pounder in the boat. But appreciate you watching. You got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below. Otherwise you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. And again, appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.